Hi, my name is Kyan Johnson, and this is my interpersonal communication project for Human Services 508. You will hear a little chime sound that indicates the next slide, like now. What's all ahead? My introduction, a discussion of listening and enlarging the conversation, an identification of my overarching goal, my background, and my behavioral blend, both positive and negative, defining my potential barriers with solutions, defining noise pollution, internal and external, and my plan of action. Introduction. How is communication defined? Derived from the root to commune, Peterson says that it has two levels, which revolve around the sharing of information and the communication made with other individuals. According to Stewart, communication is the continuous, complex, collaborative process of verbal and nonverbal meaning making. What is interpersonal communication? Stewart defines the interpersonal communication as the type or kind of communication that happens when people involved talk and listen in ways that maximize the presence of the personal. Another way of looking at interpersonal communication is seeing that it makes up your social relationships. This type of communication opens up a way for individuals to be able to understand each other intimately. Enlarging the conversation. Enlarging the conversation means opening up a way to move the communication process further along. This is a way to increase that discussion and allow others to join in on the conversation, especially when dealing with conflicts or those hot topics. Peterson states, when we let our feelings and thoughts out into the open, people will react to them. He notes that this self-disclosure will allow others to share this, their experiences. The more we open up, the more others will, and not only will we have enlarged the conversation, we will have built trust. Enlarging the conversation continue. Ways this can happen. Um, employ the technique of nexting. Stewart says that this is the most important single communication skill. Ask lots of questions. Clarify what's being said. Feel free to step out of your comfort zone by sharing or doing something new or different. Change your way of thinking and being open and objective. Listening. Communication revolves around it. Since a key component of building communication revolves around listening, it would be necessary to also involve a good listener. To The listener must be willing to commit his or herself to the act, for it is deliberate and requires a deep level of awareness. The listener is also to make use of being reflective and giving appropriate feedback. The role of the listener is to provide safety, to understand, to clarify. This should be this should be without agreeing or disagreeing or advising or defending. Listening continue. In listening, the forgotten skill, three levels of listening are discussed. Level one involves listening with empathy. Um, you're able to put yourself into other shoes and be non-judgmental. Level two, we hear the words, but we don't listen to them. In this level, we are emotionally detached, which hinders our ability to which hinders our ability to understand the speaker. Level three, our only concern is for the self. We are tuning in and out of what is being said, listening in spurts. Passive, is, passive listening is taking place instead of active listening. A look at my background. I was reared in a Christian household. I am a Navy brat, and I've lived in various states since I was seven years old. My home state, however, is Texas. My most positive trait is that I'm a giver. It could be one of those downfalls because I put a lot of myself into helping others and neglecting to work on myself. I am, for the most part, shy, yet goofy and entertaining. Growing up, I was stubborn. At times, I still am. I think my most negative trait has to be my ambivalence. My overarching goal. Most importantly, I want to maintain being able to listen empathetically to other individuals. My goal is to become a more effective listener so that when I communicate, I am able to listen at level one. I know that everyone has something to say and a need to be heard, but that a lot goes unheard because of ineffective listening. I want the outcome of my overarching goal to be that others can come to me knowing that they will be listened to and fully heard. Behavioral Blends In How to Solve the People Puzzle, the author describes four personality types using the DISC model. These are directing, driving, demanding, dominating. I's are inspiring, influencing, inducing, impressing. S are steady, stable, shy, security oriented. C's are cautious, competent, calculating, and compliant. 
Everyone has a uniquely created blend of at least one or more of the temperaments. The various behavioral blends are depicted in the text from two different perspectives. One is from the this is expected of me, and the other is from this is me perspective. My behavioral blend. According to the uniquely you personality assessment, my this is expected of me is SC. My this is me is CIS. I am more passive than I am active, but can be both outgoing and reserved. People like that I am friendly, cordial, and flexible, though I can be critical at times and indecisive. My preferred environmental type is an organized and peaceful one. My behavioral blend continued. CIS, this blend did not surprise me, but I did think it would end up with all four types presented. My strengths are that I am good at caring, thinking, and problem solving. My only disagreement with the assessment is that, according to the CIS personality type, we don't care about being in charge or the boss. In actuality, I am extremely bossy, especially around family and friends, in which I can be very, very controlling. What's positive about my behavioral blend? I'm creative, competent, friendly, giving, independent and headstrong, inspiring, outgoing, and resourceful. What's negative about my behavioral blend? I am ambivalent, I am overly cautious, over contemplative, critical, very introverted at times, extremely impatient, moody, and suspicious, which is sort of euphemism for slightly paranoid. Noise pollution. What exactly is this? Noise pollution is basically what distracts individuals from listening. Internal noise pollution is personal. These factors are those that bother us and keep us from listening. External noise pollution involves outside influences that divert our attention, again preventing us from listening effectively. Some examples of internal noise pollution for me are childhood experiences, values and beliefs, emotional level, stressors or illness, daydreaming, thinking of rebuttals while other people are talking. External noise pollutions are my setting, personal experiences, technology, computers, television, and my phone, gender, um, a speaker's tone of voice if it's monotone, and a speaker's body language if they're using a lot of hand gestures and they're animated. What are some potential barriers? My perception, my assumptions, defensive listening, hearing only what I want to hear, lack of self-awareness, high emotional level, given time of day, whether or not I'm stressed or irritable, environmental setting, and speaker's tone of voice. Solutions for potential barriers. I can relax, practice empathizing, practice mindful listening, repeat and rephrase, find a quiet setting, remain in the present, and focus, 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 making eye contact is one way, body posture, leaning in, avoid attributing characteristics, taking good notes, controlling my emotions, being considerate, being open and flexible. My plan of action. With my overarching goal in mind, I plan to listen with my heart at all times, recognize my stressors, red flag words, avoid interrupting and daydreaming so that I can listen effectively and be able to make meaning of what's being said. I can practice being on being more self-aware and understanding on different cultures and beliefs and I can continue practicing listening with empathy and keep in mind Ecclesiastes 9 and 10, knowing that all that I put my hand to and whatever I do is for the glory of the Lord and not for man. Thank you. This was my interpersonal communication project. Thanks for listening.